This instructional video will help you learn and master each movement before advancing to the follow along version. Pause and rewind often and move on only when you feel confident. Hello, welcome to Primal 7's final video of the shoulder series. I'm Jenna Ellis, physical therapist for Primal 7. As a reminder, the purpose of this series is to improve flexibility that's limiting the shoulder, re-educate muscles surrounding the shoulder to work properly, and finally, putting these together to work on achieving full range of motion of the shoulder with proper movement mechanics. In this video, we are going to use seven exercises to challenge our body and build endurance. Our training format is still staying with repetitions, but we're moving for a longer period of time. Our focus is on challenging our body to move with confidence and purpose during this set time. Our band will be set at mid shin, the rings will be locked, and the safety covers for the band release levers will be pulled all the way up. The purpose of preparation is first to do a quick alignment check and to practice stacking all the joints of the body in proper alignment for efficient movement. Second, to increase range of motion in all the areas that we train. And finally, to increase circulation so that our body is warm and ready to move. In this sequence, we will use the T-spine twist to open up the chest and align our thoracic spine. And second, the row to help build postural strength of our shoulder blades. We will start with the T-spine twist for 30 seconds. To set up for your T-spine twist, you'll place the bands gently underneath your shoulders and come into your primal lean with your feet about a hip's width apart. From here, gently rest your hands on green. Make sure your butt squeeze nice and tight. You'll sweep your right arm out to the side about shoulder height, squeezing your shoulder blades down and back. Stop when you feel a gentle stretch in the front part of your chest. After that, you'll bring the hand right back to green and then switch over to the left side. We'll alternate back and forth for 20 seconds. A few things to look out for while you're doing this. Make sure you keep your butt squeezed tight. If not, you'll start to sag down and back into a squat. We want you to stay in good alignment. Also, make sure you're not grasping green too tight and make sure your hips and your feet are pointing forward towards the anchors. Make sure they're not twisting back and forth as you twist only your arm. After you're done with your 20 seconds of twist, you'll stand back up, come out from underneath your band, and you'll grab the rings. Walk the rings out and come back into your primal lean. You're now set up for your rows. To get set up for your rows, you'll grab the rings and walk them out until they're straight. Come into your primal lean with your feet about a hips width apart. From here, pull your hands to your chest. Breathe out as you pull. Breathe in as you lower back down to your starting position. We'll repeat this for 20 seconds. A few things to look out for while you're doing your rows. Make sure that you're staying in good alignment. We don't want you sagging your butt back into a squat. Stay in this position here. Also, one thing to look out for when you're in this extended position. Sometimes our tendency is to round our back. Make sure we're keeping our spine in good alignment, nice and flat. The last thing is that you're not shrugging your shoulders up towards your ears. We're keeping them down and back and in good alignment. After you're done with your 20 seconds of rows, you'll either go back for round two of preparation and put the band underneath your shoulders and you'll be set up for the T-spine twist. Or you'll move on to round one of training in which you'll come into the band again and place the band around the front part of your hips and walk out facing away from the anchors. You're then set up to do your extension with external rotation reps. In 
the second training video, we focused on maintaining perfect alignment as we went from start to end positions of our exercise. In this training video, we will continue to practice maintaining perfect alignment and move between start and end positions of our exercise. But our goal this time is to work for longer periods of time, challenging our muscles endurance. In this, you may use one to two pound weights or a soup can from your kitchen for our first two exercises. If you find yourself straining too much or coming out of alignment, make sure you put those weights down to the side and continue on with just your arm weight. In this sequence, we will use external rotation with extension in order to continue strengthening our shoulder blade muscles and our shoulder rotator muscles. Second, we will use T's to further work on strengthening our shoulder muscles for good posture. And finally, we will use a half bird dog to continue strengthening our shoulders in a weight bearing position and also challenging our spine to maintain its alignment. Remember to always tuck your chin before beginning each exercise. We will begin with extension with external rotation for 20 seconds. To get set up for extension with external rotation, come into the band and place it directly underneath your chest and come into your primal lean. Squeeze your abs and butt nice and tight. Rest your hands down by your side, palms facing back towards the wall. From here, make sure you tuck your chin. Then you'll flip your palms forward and squeeze your shoulder blades down and back. This exercise will sort of feel like you're standing on the bow of a ship, kind of like Jack and Rose in Titanic, and bringing your arms out to the side. Make sure you continue to squeeze your shoulder blades down and back. We'll repeat this for 20 seconds. Make sure that when you're doing this, you're squeezing your shoulder blades down and back and your shoulders aren't creeping up towards your ears. Also, when you do this, the tendency with this exercise is to extend a little bit more. That's fine, just make sure you're not overextending and arching your back too much and pushing your hips too far forward. We also want to maintain our chin tuck throughout the whole entire exercise. Once you're done with your 20 seconds, you'll rest your arms down by your side. Keep in your primal lean with the band directly underneath your chest. You'll then be set up for your next exercise, tease for 20 seconds. Again this week, same as last, if you would like to add a very light hand weight to this exercise, you may, or some soup cans that are eight to 16 ounces or one pound. To get set up for your tees, place the band directly underneath the base of your chest and come into your primal lean. Squeeze your abs and your butt nice and tight, tuck your chin and bring your hands straight out in front of you. From here, float your arms out to the side, no higher than shoulder height. You will repeat this movement for 20 seconds. Make sure that you're keeping your abs and your butt squeezed tight so you're not forward folding in the band and coming out of your good alignment. Also, make sure your chin stays tucked so that you're not straining the back of your neck muscles. Also this week, if you would like a little bit more of a challenge, you can grab a very light one to two pound weight or a light soup can, eight to 16 ounces to challenge your shoulder muscles a little bit more. Make sure though that you're not straining your neck with this added weight. We want to make sure you can make it through the full 20 seconds. After you're done with your 20 seconds, you'll come onto the floor on your hands and knees with the band around the base of your chest. You'll then be set up to do our next exercise, the half bird dog. To get set up for your half bird dogs, you'll come into the band with the band either at your hips for less support or underneath your chest for a little more support. Again, like last week, if the band's a little uncomfortable there, you can always take a hand towel and wrap it around the band a few times for a little extra padding. You'll come into your all fours position with your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees directly underneath your hips. Make sure your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. If they're too far out, it'll put a little extra pressure on your wrists, making them a little bit sore. 
Make sure they're right underneath your shoulders. From here, come into your active shoulder position. Push your shoulders just a little bit away from the floor. Hold that position, then reach your right arm forward, hold for a second, and replace it back. Then you'll switch over to your left arm. We'll alternate back and forth using your arms for 30 seconds. Make sure that you're keeping your abs in nice and tight, zipped up in those tight pair of jeans, and you're doing your best to keep your spine in a nice neutral alignment. It's helpful during these 30 seconds to think about keeping your chin tucked. We don't want you looking forward and arcing your neck, putting a lot of excess strain on your neck. And also it can pull the rest of your spine out of alignment. Make sure that when you're doing this as well, your abs are staying nice and tight and you're not swaying your lower back like a sway back horse. After you're all done with these 30 seconds, you'll either stand back up and place the band around your hips and walk out facing away from the anchors so that you're set up for the last round of external rotation with extension. Or if you're on to the round one of restoration, you'll stand back up, grab the ring with your left hand, walk out straight with your arm out to the side, and you'll face forward away from the anchors. And then you'll be set up for the chest stretch. The purpose of restoration is first to cool down and to give the muscles that we worked a chance to relax. Second, to improve flexibility and to carry over this newfound mobility into our everyday tasks. And finally, to reinforce opening up our chest muscles for improved upright posture. In this next sequence, we will use the chest stretch to open up our pectoral muscles for improved upright posture. And second, an overhead shoulder stretch with the rings to create space in our shoulders and to stretch out our sides. Let's get started with the chest stretch for 15 seconds. To get set up for your chest stretch, grab the ring with one hand. Face forward and bring your hand out to the side. From here, you'll gently turn your head, shoulders, and hips away from your left hand. We'll hold this for 15 seconds. When you're doing this stretch, it should feel like a gentle pull across the front part of your chest. Make sure that it's gentle. We don't want things to feel like they're pulling apart too much. After your 15 second hold, you'll switch to your right hand. When you're done with both hands, you'll then grab both rings and you'll be set up to start your shoulder overhead stretch. To get set up for your shoulder overhead stretch, you'll grab both rings with your hands and face away from the anchors. You reach your hands all the way up as far as your range of motion allows you, thinking about bringing your biceps to your ears. Then keep a slight bend in your knees and hinge your hips back. You'll feel a stretch in your shoulders and down your sides. To come out of the stretch, walk your feet a few steps forward, then bring your hands down. When you're doing this stretch, make sure that you're keeping your spine flat and you're not arcing your lower back too much. Keep your abs in nice and tight. Also, it's important to keep your chin tucked so that you're not overextending your cervical spine. After you're done with your 15 second hold, you'll either go back for round two of restoration which you grab one ring and reach your arm out straight. You'll be set up for your chest stretch then. Or if you finished the second round of restoration, take a deep breath and your work is done for the day. 
With the restoration complete, you've just finished the final video of our shoulder series. Congratulations! What you should carry away from this final video is that your muscles are strong enough to hold good upright posture. Put this into practice as much as you can throughout your workday sitting at your desk. Or think about avoiding slouching while you're having dinner with friends. Know that your muscles are also strong enough to try a few new higher level exercises, such as planks or push-ups, now that you've found a good starting position. Remember, you can return to any part of this series at any time you need. The focal points continue to matter regardless of what modes of exercise you use, whether it be in the Primal 7 unit or anywhere else. Great job today and keep up the good work.